right, today we're going to go over the Chargery S600 power supply. It has a uh, PFC that's active. Um, on one side we have two terminals. We also have a dial that you can dial your voltage. Uh, this particular, particular unit runs off AC90 to 265 volts, so uh, that's pretty good. Uh, anyway, it's got a little USB charging port as well. Won't be using that. It's got a lot of vents on it, which is nice. It's got a digital display, and we'll show that whenever I turn it on. Uh, it says it goes from 6 to 15 volts. The one that I got shipped to me by uh, Ready Healy, it only uh, maximum is 14.2. So that's not that great, but um, that's all right. But uh, if we take 14.2, times the maximum amps we're not going to get 600 watts so that's all right uh, it's still a good uh, power supply also it's got two nice cooling fans um, they turn on at 55 degrees Celsius and they it basically kicks on for just a short uh, few seconds and then kicks back off um, now to check to see if this is a good power supply we're going to be hooking this device um, through a digital watt meter that is made by Viz. Um, it's the WD-767. It's, it's calibrated to 99.99. .99. So basically we'll hook this into the outlet, um, hook our power supply into our watt meter. Then we'll also take my uh, Sky RC Ultimate 400 watt charger. Uh, we're going to set it on about 8 amps. Um, and we're going to uh, set it to charge. Once this thing winds up, uh, or the charger winds up, we're going to get, you know, about 16 amps out of it at 14 volts. And what we're going to be doing is reading everything through here. So we're going to take our watts, uh, what we get in our final wattage on this piece of paper. I'll put down the amps at, you know, when it's at its highest uh, amperage and then the voltage and then basically we'll uh, take our volts times our amps and see the difference by dividing that by the wattage and see what kind of power factor we have on this now as far as this power supply it's good if you use an extension cord with it and that's because the inductance needs to be greater and that's how they made this power supply uh, so that's why we're going to do two different tests on it because one of them, if I actually take, let me get the camera here, we're going to be plugging it into uh, this, this uh, GFI and basically, I'll just zoom out here, there's my power box over there. It's three feet away, okay? So that being three feet away, if we were to go ahead and plug that in now, which we're going to do, um, and then start charging something, uh, what happens is the inductance is low, and because it's so close to the power source, that this thing will actually trip the breaker if I go over 10 amps. Uh, even though this is not drawing 10 amps, the maximum is like 8 amps uh, from a 120 outlet, uh, but it'll throw it because it's so noisy, and that's just because the power supply is designed for higher inductance. Uh, to get around that, all I did is, uh, and I'll show you, is I'm going to hook it up to a, um, uh, a power cord, an extension cord that's about 100 feet long, and will actually get the very high power factor rating that it says it claims it, it to be which is 99%. Now, I've got 95 to 98 with it. So, I think it's a really good power supply as long as you know what the drawback is, which is you need to use an extension cord if you have your your uh, power source right next to your power box in your garage. So, anyway, let's uh, go ahead and we're going to hook in our watt meter. Then we're going to take the power supply, plug it into our watt meter, okay, turn that on, and I'm going to turn on our, let me see, let me plug in our Sky RC Ultimate 400 watt charger, which is what I use to charge, 
Now this uh, I bought at Ready Ready Healy for 150 bucks, and that's just because I wanted a good power supply. It does cost more to get you know a good power supply. Anyway, um, I bought this ultimate 400 watt Sky RC charger at Hobby Parts for 80 bucks shipped to my house. I can't beat that. Uh, so let's go ahead and flick it on. And uh, right now you see it's I got it set on 14 volts, but let's go ahead and bring it down. See how you can adjust it up or down. If I go to full, it's only 14.2. That's all I can get out of it. So we're just going to bring it back down to 14. I really like the display on it. It's nice. So we're going to keep it at 14. I got my charger on, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, hook this big old battery up to it. Um, now, I'm using a 6S battery, um, and that's, that's why running a 6S battery with the higher voltage at 5,000 milliamps, you're, it's going to be drawing a lot of amperage on here, which shows uh, you're going to see right now. So I'm going to go ahead and set this thing to, to charge. I'm on LiPo charge. We're going to actually set it to... 8 amps for the first test because like I said I'm I'm plugged in to the outlet that's right next to the power box so I don't want to blow my GFI which it does because of the noise so I've got it on 22 volts okay it's gonna start ramping up and we're gonna get these numbers and confirm it now it's ramping up and once I get to the full 8, now this is the one that, the charger is the one that's got dual fans and it's loud, but, so it's at 8 amps. Now, I've got 14 volts still, and nice six about 16 amps there. So this is what matters here. We've got 245 watts. The amps are about 3, I'm going to put 318. 3.8, sorry. And then my volts. So my volts are 121.2. So we're going to take, with my calculator here, 121.2 times the amps, which is 3.18. And we get 385.417. And now what we need to do is divide the watts, 245, into 385.416. And you can see we're getting a power factor of 0.635677. And that's terrible. Uh, which is why you don't want to, if you want to charge at... 10 or 15 amps, it's going to pop your GFI. Uh, so that's one test. So I'm going to stop this. I'm going to stop this. Okay, now I'm going to go back again and I'm going to show you. I'm going to turn off the power supply. Okay. Turn off my watt meter. I'm going to take my my watt meter and plug it into my extension cord up here. And let me just move the camera real quick. You're going to see I've got an extension cord above there. Then my watt meter goes down. Uh, the cord goes into there. So let me go ahead and put this back up. Okay, now, same thing. I got this plugged in. Going to turn it back on. Turn the power supply back on. Everything's back in business. We're going to LiPo again. Charge 8 amps. Same exact thing that we just did. And I'm going to go ahead and check it. Start the charge. It's going to wind up again. And we're back to 8 amps on my charger. Almost 8 amps. 7.9. Okay, 8 amps. So we are getting to 16 volts, or 16 amps, sorry, 14 volts. Now, so let's go ahead and do this again. 
we'll do watts first. We got 240, 245, we're going to say. Go to amps, and we've got 2.16, which we already know that's looking better. Volts, and we've got 119.9. So, we're going to take my calculator again, 119.9 volts times amps, which is 2.16, and we get 258.984, okay, so let's divide that, Do, divide the watts, 245, and divided by 258. Point nine eight four, and we get a power factor of point nine four six zero zero four. So that's really good. We're we're at you know point nine five factor is excellent. So that shows you this power supply is doing really well. Now it's only pumping um, basically. Um, 15.9 amps out of there so what we're going to do is is jump it up and do a test again so let's go ahead and we're going to stop this real quick I'm going to get a better battery okay so let's take this other battery and plug everything here and I'm going to basically be charging this at 3S. This is another 6S 5000 milliamp and I'm gonna charge it at 15 amps and then you're gonna see how good it is on 15 amps as well. So same thing going to oh, let's go back to our LiPo and then lipo charge we're actually going to go up to 15 amps and at 22.2 volts and then it's going to kick off we're going to do the same thing and put watts amps and volts all right so it's winding up again. Got uh, 15 amps already. It's up to 15. So we're pumping about almost 32 amps out of there, which is good. Constant 14 volts. It always stays solid. And we're going to do the same test doing the 15 volts. Now it's saying 14 or 15. So we're going to do watts. So we've got 500 watts. Amps, 4.38, and then volts, you notice it drops a little bit, 117.8, alright, so let's do our numbers, so we've got 117 volts, 0.8, times our amps which is 4.38 we get 515.964 and now we're going to take 500 which is the watts before divide that 515.964 and we get a fat power factor now at 15 amps of 0.969 which is 0.97 so the power factor on this power supply with higher inductance with using the extension cord or if you're farther away is actually going to give us um, a power factor of 0.96 which is excellent so again uh, I think it's a good power supply um, and there's proof we've tested it um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the 
uh, Chargery S600 power supply uh, demo. Uh, I'd buy this one again. Thanks.